Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to study in detail about the AT commands in GSM module which are related to phone book of the GSM module. Let's get started. So in a previous video we just learned the AT commands for configuring the network mode and all the other things like checking whether the sim card is inserted or not etc. So in this video we are just going to learn some of the AT commands which is useful for storing mobile numbers to the memory in sim card that is the non-volatile memory in sim card and also for retrieving the phone numbers from that non-volatile memory. So here you can see this is the simcom sim 900a module which i am going to use in this course and this one is the usb to digital converter which we are going to use for testing the at commands in this simcom module so regarding the connection between these two modules we are just going to connect the ground of the simcom module to the ground of this digital converter and tx of this module simcom module will be connected to the rx of this digital converter and the Rx of this SIMCOM module will be connected to Tx of this TTL converter. So let me just make these connections first. So here is the ground. You can see here is the ground of this TTL converter. I am just connecting it to the ground of this SIMCOM module. And regarding the Tx and Rx of this SIMCOM module. I am just going to connect it to Rx and Tx of this digital converter. You can see here clearly white wire is the Tx. I am just going to connect this white wire to the Rx of this module. So here is the Rx and Tx. See white wire is connected to you can see white wire is connected to Rx purple is connected to tx here purple is connected to rx and white wire is connected to tx and for now i am just going to power up this simcom module with this adapter right over here you can see this is the adapter which i am going to use which is a 9 volt approximately 1 amps adapter you can also use a 12 volt 1 amps adapter instead and using this power jack i am just powering up and I am going to connect this USB to TTL converter to the PC USB port through USB cable that is mini USB cable. That's all about the circuit connections. Now I am just going to insert the SIM card in this GSM module can see I have inserted the sim card so the first and foremost command is AT plus CPBS which is useful for selecting the type of phone book let me just create the sequence for this and I want to give the question mark and 0D0A at the end when I pass this CPBS, AT plus CPBS, it returns me with SM3,250. So what is this SM? SM means SIM card memory. Take care that this SM means this is the type of memory available. It is listing out the type of memory available that is nothing but SIM card memory. So for writing to the SIM card memory or for storing to this non-volatile memory available in the SIM card, we are just going to use this command AT plus CPBW. So this CPBW is nothing but, I am just creating the sequence, CPBW is equal to the first thing that i want to give here is the memory location at which i just want to store 
so let me just give it to be one comma and then within the double quotes i just want to produce the mobile number so i have two sim cards one sim card inserted into the gsm module and another sim card i have added it to a separate mobile so that i will show you later now i am just producing the mobile number that has been inserted inside that mobile phone and close the double quotes and after that i am just going to give the local number grade for this mobile number i just want to store this number as a local number and after that i just want to give comma of i just want to give a name for this contact right so the name is to be let's take it to be sm academy quotes and finally i just want to give 0d0a You can see this is the sequence. A T plus C P P W is equal to one comma mobile number. This one is nothing but the memory location at which you are, you just want to save the number. And this is the number that I want to save within double quotes comma one twenty nine. I will explain you what is this one twenty nine later after this. And comma of the name of the contact is S M Academy. And finally we are giving carriage return. And when I send this, you can see. this number has been saved as sm academy in the memory location of 1 in the sim card and this 129 is nothing but let me just type in another at command that is nothing but the previous command that we used cpbs for checking the type of memories available in the sim card 0 to 0a now when i send this command you can see these are all the type of memories available in this sim card among this we are having this sm sm means as i said this is nothing but sim memory and let me just open the data sheet for showing you what are all this you can see this is the at plus cpbs and this sm is meaning nothing but sim or phone book sim book and this regarding this write function you can see the type of number that we stored is 129 which is nothing but national number type and if it is a international number you just want to produce the number 145 so only i have given the number 129 for saving the number to be national type so i hope you understood why i have provided this command that is this number 129 1 and sm academy so this number has been stored in the name of sm academy as a national number in the non volatile memory of the sim card at the position of 1 now for reading this contact i can use another command called at plus cpbr so let me just store that cp br is equal to the memory location from which you just want to read so this is the format you just want to give at plus cpbr is equal to the memory number from which you just want to read so as we stored this sm academy contact in the memory location of 1 i am just giving one right over here for reading the same contact and finally after all i just want to give 0d0a at the end and now when i pass this cpbr is equal to 1 you can see so this number has been stored in the memory location 1 with the name of sm academy so that's it so in this manner using these commands you can use the phone book of the sim card available in gsm module you can store the phone number and also you can retrieve the phone number for further processing like calling the number as well as for messaging the number
see you in the next video thanks for watching